This video is going to be short, sharp, and straight to the point. So I apologize about this intro. To download the five additional BFD kits that you can get for free for your Alesis Strata Prime module, we'll first go onto the Alesis website. In the top right corner of the website, you have the account link. We'll click on that, which will send us to this page where we can create our own InMusic account. I already have one, so I could just click sign in, but for the sake of the video, I will create a new account. So click get started. This sends me to the In Music website where I can now create my own account. Next step. I would like to receive email messages from da, 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 about none of these. No, thank you. Create account. Now I'll jump onto my email and click the link that they have sent. Confirm account. And now we have an In Music account. This is my In Music profile. Hi, Sam. Hello, In Music. What we need to do is register products. We're going to click register new product and this will ask me for a serial number which I have on my Strata Prime module. Under the info section of your settings on the module you'll be able to find your serial number which starts with the 21 in the brackets. Type that in here. Follow all of the steps and information provided on the website so that you're able to link your Elisa Strata Prime kit as a registered product. I've had to switch back over to my old kit because I, of course, can't reuse the same serial number under different accounts. Just mentioning this because you can, of course, see the BFD products here listed with the Elisa Strata Prime kit. And I've only got that one side in view because I don't want you seeing my serial numbers and stealing my stuff. What I'm going to do is click View Downloads. On the right of that, you will have everything that you need to download. At this point in time, I'd recommend connecting your computer up to your module using a USB cable. This is the USB cable that I will be using. I believe it is a USB B cable with this kind of square end. That into the back of the module and then this into the computer. On the right, you will see your offers, which is a free 90 day subscription to Drumio, which is a really good addition to the kit. And then you have your manuals, which you don't need because you're watching this video, and your firmware and software downloads. Now in all capital letters, it says important, download first for your in music software center. So download that for PC or Mac. I'll do Mac because I'm using my Mac. If you wanted to, you can update your module via the USB and the website, or you can just do it through Wi-Fi on the module, which I think it does automatically. So we're not going to worry about this firmware edition here, but we are gonna focus on the software downloads. In Music Center, I'll double click that. Yes, it is an app which I would like to open and move to Applications folder, sure, that's fine. Originally, I did this on my Lenovo laptop, which is, of course, not a Mac. So this will be interesting to see what is different between that and the Apple Mac OS. Create an account. Let's go. Sure. Sends me back to Google. I'll run through all of this. Right, I've signed in with my InMusic account that we just created before. I can now close this window. So this is the InMusic application, and I have signed in again with the account that we created just before. All we need to download is the BFD Player, the BFD Player Core Library, download both of those over here on the right, and also back all the way over here on the left, my expansions, I'm gonna download the BFD Player Dark Mahogany. As all of these are downloading and installing, which is the other step that you'll need to do, we're gonna quickly head over here to the left under My Hardware, you will see the Strata Prime. Click Run Setup, which will bring you to this. Make sure that the module is connected to your computer and we're going to redeem the software, which will then lead into a firmware update just to make sure that the module is updated completely. And then it should install everything onto your module. All we've got left to do is jump onto the Elisa Strata Prime module and locate where the kits are. If I click browse and then this here, which leads me to my playlists, you will find the Elisa Prime factory kits then your user kits, and then I've also got my third additional playlist, which is my kits, where I save all of my edited kits that I want to keep for recording everything for my instrumental album. I'll link some videos about that in the description below. Under the user kits playlist, you will locate the five free additional BFD kits, and this is also where all of your edited kits will first go once you make all of your changes to the original factory kits on the other playlist. And then from there, you can create your own additional playlists and keep your favorite kits in their own little folder. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like the video. Go and check out my other videos that I've made on the Elisa Strata Prime, which I'm loving. I'm just about to write and record a review for the kit, so stay tuned for that one as well. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you later.